magbigay ng mga brands ng action cams. Mm, yeah, go pro, bro. SJ cam, yeah, pang masa. Yi. Hi everyone, Kuya J here and welcome back to my Sandbox YouTube channel. Today, ang gagawin ko na review ay isang action cam. Yung brand, well, never heard pero it's called Yi. Yi. So here's what you will see inside the box. Of course, the manual, warranty papers, etc. Next is the included micro SD cable for transferring data and charging the unit. It also includes waterproof case and mounting kit. And finally, here's the Yi Action Camera. The body is made up of plastic and rubber. It has three physical buttons. The power button, the shutter button, and the Wi-Fi button. There's a total of five holes in this camera. One for the microphone, three for the speaker, and one for the tripod socket. The battery cover is removable, and same goes for the ports. There is no built-in memory in this action cam, so you will need this. A micro SD card. Your choice, from 16, 128 gigabyte. Walang factory charge yung battery ng action cam na ito. So make sure to charge it first bago gamitin. You may use your phone's charger as long as micro USB cable ang gamit nyo. Remember, micro USB cable, not type C. It will take a while bago mo fully charge yung cam. And malalaman nyo kapag fully charged siya yun, kapag kulay blue na yung ilaw sa power LED. Currently, red ito, which means wala pa talaga halos karga yung battery. A single quick press will turn on your camera. And a single long press will turn it off. A single long press sa Wi-Fi button will turn it on. And to take advantage of the Wi-Fi feature, Grab your smartphone and download the Yi Camera app. Using this app, you will be able to connect your action camera to your smartphone wirelessly, which is very convenient for transferring data. Now that the unit is ready, time to place it inside the waterproof case.
After placing the action cam inside the waterproof case, time to set up the mounting kit. Here's the specs. Hmm. Ano nga ba susubukan to? Ah, lang pa na. Masasabi ko lang, I think it's worth it. This tiny camera can shoot 1080p videos in 60 frames per second, which is impressive considering the fact na ang presyo nito sa market is around 2,000 to 2,500 pesos down. Value for money ito, especially sa mga starters. So there you have it guys. Hit the like button if you like video. And hit the subscribe button plus the notification icon if you want to see more in the future. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!